Hey y'all, it's Dr. Know-It-All. So super quick video here. Um, so I just installed software version uh, 32.11, I think. I don't want to kick it over there because I don't want to show my VIN on my car, sorry. But anyway, if you go to software, go to software update. And then what you do is you go to autopilot and there is a request full self-driving beta thing right at the top, very big. And then it says, thank you for your interest in the limited early access full self-driving beta. Once you accept the terms below, the Tesla team will analyze your vehicle driving as we expected and give you a safety score. So <laughs> that'll be scary. Everybody wants to do well on a test, right? Um, you can view your safety score from the Tesla app at any time. This, by the way, I installed this while this um, software was updating. So like I said, when you, when you, you know, get up or get ready to install this beta software, you have to install a new version of the Tesla software 32.11 I believe like I said anyway whatever it asks you to do and then you also have to install 4.1.0 for your um for your phone app as well so that it can give you access and everything okay so anyway I consent to the collection and review of ongoing VIN associated vehicle driving data while enrolled by the way if you haven't checked that out that's part of a video that I did a couple of days ago this is the reason why they couldn't pre-fetch your data because I'm sure again that Tesla has to anonymize your data as you are as it's being collected over the air for, for data privacy issues. So what you're doing here, this first one is the really, really important one. That's basically saying that your VIN, your car's VIN, is uh, information is being sent back to them specifically. And I'm sure when you get Tesla insurance in California and soon Texas and New York, you are doing the same thing as well. But anyway, so they're collecting your data now specifically for your car. <laughs> so here's hoping we do well. Then I understand when using FSD beta, I am responsible for remaining alert with my hands on the wheel and must be prepared to take action at any time. FSD beta does not make my car autonomous, just as with the old beta version as well, but just reminding you. And then I understand that FSD beta can be revoked at any time. So that's also important. Click accept and... Okay, it says you are now enrolled into the full self-driving beta queue. Sorry, I know that the screen is like all funky and all that stuff. But So anyway, so that, that uh, puts you in. Um, I am going to the gym shortly this morning, and I am definitely <laughs> not going to film it while I'm driving in the car because I definitely don't want to do that. But I will also take a screenshot of the uh, Tesla app and post that at least on Twitter, if not on here as well. I, I do, I had a, actually you can still see there's like a little thing right there, but I have like a suction cup mount where um, I have stuff that, that goes up there so that you can see the screen and me driving. So I will, you know, work on getting that set up now. Again, I took that down because it wasn't really that necessary since it wasn't interesting driving without the beta. But anyway, so the, the two things you need to do, <laughs> two things, number one, download the new app on the car so that you can get this. And it's just at the, right at the top of the autopilot thing. So click autopilot, request full self-driving. Obviously you have to have full self-driving enabled or else it won't work. The second thing, number two, is you need to download the new app for your phone, your Android or iPhone or whatever, and get it put on there as well. So it's gotta be at least version 4.1.0. Then you request the full self-driving beta, you go through all all of the steps and it puts you then in the queue and that's about it so <laughs> wish us all luck folks right all righty i hope you all have a great saturday and drive super super safe bye bye